So we're now going to discuss absolute convergence. And absolute convergence is basically what you resort to when your series is not positive and it changes signs in a way that perhaps you don't control. The definition is the following. So let's say we here have a sequence, an infinite series AK that is such that we're not able to study it directly because of weird sign changes. Then we say that this guy converges absolutely if the same guy, except now I kill all the signs, converges. So this allows me to take a series, or this gives me language to take a series, and then instead study the same guy where I've killed all the signs, making him into a positive series, making it so that I can use my comparison results and all of this. Now, why would I do this? Because if I prove that this guy converges, it doesn't really say anything about this guy, does it? Well, yes, it says a little bit. Not everything, but a little bit. So the important ingredient here is the following proposition, and it says that absolute convergence implies convergence, meaning that if I have a guy like this, for some reason, I don't want to study him directly, but I study this instead because life is easier when everything is positive. If I'm able to show that this thing converges, aha, then this thing converges too. Now we have to be a bit careful here because the reverse arrow is not true. So let's do an example here. So if I'm doing minus one to the k plus one over k, this is the alternating harmonic series and he converges. But if I kill the signs, I'm left with this guy and this is the harmonic series and this guy diverges. So this means that when I study this, I could risk ending up dealing with something that diverges, even if the original guy converges. And the moral of the story here is that sign shifts always help you converge. So it's, diff more, it's more difficult for this guy to converge than for him. And then we can say that any series that is such that it converges, but it does not converge absolutely, we call them conditionally convergent. And these are dangerous series. These are the ones that behave in weird ways and that we have to be really careful with. One example is that such series are not commutative, meaning that if you change the order in which you sum terms, you can change the value of the thing. But more on this in, in some other film. What we want to do now is to prove this thing here. And the proof is basically a bit of bookkeeping. So suppose that this guy here converges absolutely, i.e. that the sum like this converges. We need to show that this guy here converges in the usual sense. I have k's everywhere here. So now that I've stated everything, we can scroll down here. So what we want to do is somehow keep track of sign changes. So we define, so we want to keep track of sign changes and reduce our situation to looking at something positive or stuff that's positive. To do this, we define ak plus to be equal to ak whenever ak is positive and zero if the ak is negative. And then we define ak minus to be, and now we're not going to say that he is ak if, if ak is negative. We're going to say that he's minus ak uh, if ak is negative, because this makes this guy positive. So now we're just looking at positive guys here. And zero if ak positive. This of course implies that every ak is equal to ak plus minus ak minus. So now we kind of split up this thing here. What's the point? Well the point is the following. So observe that my ak plus who is either zero or ak if ak is positive is smaller than the absolute value of the ak's. So this is always positive. So if, if, if my ak is negative this is something positive but this is zero. If my ak is positive, then this is equal to the ak, and this is equal to the ak. So in fact, either the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, or left-hand side is equal to zero. And similarly, ak minus is smaller than the absolute value of the ak. And again, either they're equal to each other, or this thing is zero. But what does this mean? Well, when I sum all of these guys up, I get something that's convergent. Moreover, everything here is positive. So by the standard comparison tests, since the sum of these guys converge, the sum of these guys and these guys separately converge. So here by comparison, the sum of these guys converge, where I take now k from, I don't know where I started. Let's see, I started at zero. It really doesn't matter. And here, 
from zero to infinity of the ak minus converge. Why do we care about this? Well, if I have two convergent series, I can look at their difference. It will also converge. So just this number minus this number here. And if this thing and this thing converges, I can pair them together. So I get now k goes from zero to infinity of ak plus minus ak minus. But this difference here was just my ak's. So now I'm getting that this thing here appears. So this converges, since this converges and this converges. Since both are convergent, I'm allowed to do this. But this is just exactly this, and we are done.